All right, Davey, thanks for that. Uh, it's uh, 5.50 here. Good morning, Hawaii. We want to talk tech today. we got our tech expert, Ryan Ozawa, in from Hawaii Information Service to give us a little insight in this news story that we had the other day about this tech firm that is collecting photos from the Internet to produce facial recognition technology. Absolutely. Ryan, thanks for coming in. Always a pleasure. So Clearview AI, it's a... It was a stealth startup until the New York Times and other journalists start looking into it. And basically, they've compiled a database of billions, billions of photos from websites like Facebook and Flickr and things. And although technology companies like Google and Facebook have had this capability, they've always said, we're not, we have this ability, but we're not going to use it because it could be abused. Right. Well, this startup says, well, what the heck? Let's see what happens. <laughs> and they so. did. And what they did is they went through the Internet and they just, they just did a scour. They just pulled in every image they could find, yep. and they started associating it with names, mm -hmm. which is publicly available if you ever had a public Facebook page or an Instagram or a Twitter. Um, and so suddenly your name is now associated with all these photos of you, and so somebody could instantly put in a picture and then be recognized. Uh, some reporters uh, in National News have done this and uh, with, the, with the tech creator, and it's very effective. Absolutely. I mean, if you've ever played with Google Photos and it can find all of the pictures of everybody in your photos, mm -hmm. that's kind of scary already. But imagine that on a global scale. Yeah. And this company has 600, they say, police departments on their uh, customer list. And it's so good because police departments are limited to straight on uh, mug shots. Right. Whereas they can catch someone in the background from the side mm -hmm. in a shadow and still identify you. Right. They can look at a crowd shot of a riot or something like that and identify, you know, 99% of the people in the photo. Yeah, absolutely. Kind of a concern. Anything we could do to, uh, to opt out of this technology? Well, you would say maybe never have been in a photo that gets posted <laughs> online. That's kind of difficult. <laughs> the uh, legislature in, in D.C. is looking at investigations. There are some counties that have actually passed proactive laws that mm -hmm. says our law enforcement cannot use this technology. But it's another example of technology moving much faster than policy can. That's uh, interesting uh, to, to watch there. We'll keep an eye on that. Of course, it's too late for us. We're on TV, so people know who us. Yeah, we're, uh, we're already been... <laughs> <laughs> been indexed. Well, let's talk tech. Uh, Samsung, sure. big announcement this week. These are uh, great little uh, uh, events that they host where they launch some of the newest technology. Mm -hmm. They're back in the folding phone game right. and they're going right at the Motorola Razr. Absolutely. So you have Samsung with their flagship <laughs> phones. Now it's the S20. They've said, you know what, forget this, this counting 9, 6, uh, 9, 10, 11, 12. We'll mm -hmm. just go straight to 20. It's uh, their high-end phone. They, they say 108 megapixel camera, wow. 8K video. Like now it's getting ridiculous. I'm not sure if there's any particular need for that level of spec, <laughs> but that's where we're going with right. the next generation of phones. Um, but they did also release the Galaxy Z Flip. Mm -hmm. Now, this is, again, a folding screen phone, and we talked last year where they tried that, and it was not as good as technology as it could be. Right. But the Galaxy Z Flip is getting good reviews, and not only that, rather than being a regular smartphone that opens into a big tablet, it's a regular-sized phone that folds down into, like, the size of a wallet mm -hmm. or, you know, a, a small piece of toast, I guess. So in a way, it might be more convenient than the other way that they were trying to do folding screens. Right. So a little more practical maybe for somebody who just wants to have a phone in their pocket. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Motorola uh, did release their Razr finally yeah. um, and uh, with some mixed reviews. Now, people are starting to find that the Motorola Razr maybe may not be as awesome as they thought originally. Well, I think that that Razr was released more as a stunt because people were nostalgic for a phone from 20 mm -hmm. years ago. That's $1,500. I know I wanted one. Yeah, but for $1,500, that's yeah. not the way to go. They, <laughs> they this week announced their regular phones, the Moto uh, Power, uh, and that one is $250. That's really the headline. It's a capable phone for one-third the price of an average smartphone. Yeah. So I think that if you're looking for an Android phone that you can give to your family or your mother mm -hmm. or your kids, that might be the way to go. $250, bucks, that is, uh, I mean, that's the price of some of the cheapest phones out there. So. Right, right. So awesome. instead of a, a non-smartphone, get that. Sounds good. Ryan Ozawa. Hawaii Information Service, thanks for coming in. Our Always tech expert, uh, great to have you with us today, uh, decoding all the myth that is tech. It's 553. Good morning, Hawaii. Stay with us. Your top headlines are coming up before the top of the hour.